Hey there, YouTube. It's Darklink13245 here um, with D Games. Uh, the Darklink Games here again. Now, this time I've got a new game for you. Um, I'm playing it for the PlayStation 3 right now. Um, the PlayStation 3, I should say, as you can see. Um, called Dark Cloud. Now, this game is older than shit. But it's a good, it's a really good game. Um, it's called Dark Cloud. I've played this game for like nine fucking years, and I have never been able to beat it. Period. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna create another profile, even though I already have one on here. Um, as you all should know, it's already gonna be D game. So here's a little intro sequence. <laughs> Alright, well I'm just gonna I'm gonna play through the videos, um, the beginning mainly because my friend Adamus wants me to, so and he really wants to play this game, but Adamus, shout out to you. Keep doing keep doing it, dude. Um whatever we get Resident Evil six, dude, we're fucking doing that shit. That's you, Adamus. That's all you man. Adamus the Cheshire is his uh his online handle. So mad respect to this guy. Hmm. Whatever. But yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna continue through this. It's pretty much like a book, kind of. Uh, booky kind of game type of thing. Um. Now, if I go too fast with the text and everything, just pause the videos. Uh, just pause the video; it'll it'll be there. <laughs> A magical and magnificent fairy tale about fairies and stuff. Whose name is not Toen, but conveniently enough, D Games. It's D Games. Yeah, so D Games is the name. The Dark Shrine. Da da da. And the plot thickens. It's like pudding. Bow down to me. We must worship the giant pot. Praise the pot for it is all knowing. Let's do a little dance. Head spin. Crowd uses head spin. It's super effective. So, um, giant nose guy and the big fat guy with the jewel on his freaking. Maybe that's a chick, I don't know. But the other dude, the guy in the suit, looks kind of like Inspector Gadget if he was like a fucking Nazi or something like that. You know, seriously, I, 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 no, 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 not Nazi. Uh, mixed with Gargamel. There's Cloud from the uh, uh, Final Fantasy series. <clears throat> but there's the uh, Gargamel Inspector Gadget. Dance, dance, dance. Man, if these people played Dance Dance Revolution, they'd be gods at it. Seriously, look at those footwork. Look at that fucking good footwork, man. That's good footwork. I want to know where they learned that. Oh, wait, I know where they learned it. From the motion cap guy. Now they're worshipping a giant pot. Um, so, there's that, yeah. People, please, tell me your choreographer. I want to know. Take a sip of water right now. <sighs> it's good water. Mm. Now we have a purple viscous liquid at the top at the top of the pot. So <sighs> now.
Oh, never mind. It's not a pot. It's an urn. I apologize. Um, I spoke too soon. They're worshipping a giant urn that a guy paid a lot of money to get. Rock on. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. So we got some spinning moves. Alright. Is everybody in the YMCA? It's going down, baby. Alright, now they worship the urn long enough to create a giant purple turd. So now is the time. Yes, sir, so it seems. We have a giant ball. Transparent, apparently. Trans, apparently. Oh, a big fat genie. Hey, look, it's Robin Williams, but evil. He sounds like that fucking T Rex from the Jurassic Park series. Well, what do you think? He looks like the generic genie. Kind of like those turban pants and belt. That freaky small ass top that he's got on with a jewel stuck in his freaking gigantic crevaceous belly button of his. With those uh, elf like shoes that curl up at the foot and like multiple piercings. The epitome of genie dumb. Yes, you heard me right. Delicious human meat. Normally not available on a black market, but this is a special occasion. It's his birthday. Don't worry, Inspector Gadget Gargamel. You won't get eaten by him. He's your ma you're his master. Okay, so we see a giant windmill. Okay, and we hear water. It's at night, of course, so um there's a little child running. Oh wait, that's uh Pauline or something like that. I forgot her name, but whatever. A little bit of spoiler there for you. Hey, there's D Games. Hi, how are you today? <laughs> D Games, it's already started. <laughs> oh god, man, that's Awesome. <laughs> what kind of mother names their child D Games? Oh wait, that's right, her. Joke. Put on your turban hat, baby. Okay. Here's where it get it gets interesting. It's been a while since I've seen this, so don't quote me on this, but whatever. I do have to say they do have really good music in this game though. If anything, even if the storyline is kind of obscure and <clears throat> very weird, but whatever. It's a very good game, it's got very good music and everything. Hey, there's Macho. There's a fat guy in the background who likes candy. Kind of reminds me of me, but not so fat. I mean, not, I'm not as fat. And then, hey, there's the old gaffer and various other characters from the town. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, there are some um, various errors in the game, such as like the charge attack. You gotta press and hold X to do it. But it says to press and hold circle, but that's later on in one of the dungeons. Oh look, the dark genie! What a dick. Don't do it! Don't 
the hell, you douche? Don't do it. Asshole. <laughs> so he's shooting shit from his various body parts. I wonder where the next shot's gonna come from. Oh no, it's mouth, okay. What a dick. Help her, D Games. Help her. Run faster. That's right. Save your love interest. Oh, shit. Now, throughout this entire game, uh, the Let's Play, I'm gonna be do I'm gonna be giving you tips, tricks, and little strategies for this game. Okay, uh, like you have a choice to even comment on this. We do have a choice to comment on the in the, uh, in the content comments, but it's a bit too late to comment content on comment on the content. Hey, wake up! Let's get this done, DP Games. Let's get this done. Let's do it, Bay Rudy. Hey, look, an old guy. Oh, sorry about that, Fairy King. What a dick. Man. Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. But don't worry, you have the. Don't worry, okay. But you have the power to re rebuild, okay. You are like Thor, okay. Your hammer has the ability to destroy or to build, man. But yeah. Let's see. You're a dark and you're an all-powerful wizard. Um. Let's see. So let's just continue. Blah blah blah. Story, story, blah blah blah. You got a gem on your arm. Yeah, you got a piece of thing. It's called the Altibia. Altiba. Altimala. It's a stone with a magic power. I could not tell that it had a magic power. Okay, now let's get to the game. Alright, now this is a barren field that used to be your town, okay? So I'm gonna depress you even fucking more. I'm gonna be a fucking dick and depress your bitch ass. You got a problem with my depressions? Huh, motherfucker? Yeah, that should be good, yeah. Why is it saying 8 hours? It's in like 10 hours, dude. What the fuck? Alright, let's go to bed. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Alright, later, old dude. You've been absolutely no help to me. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Feeling revitalized after looking at a flower and some butterflies, he feels the urge to go save the people.
All right, um, <clears throat> no ruined village. Now here's your very first tip, okay? <clears throat> Instead of walking everywhere, you can just press select to go into edit mode, select where you want to be dropped off, and boom, there you go. Now that's a little tip I learned, a little trick I learned. Um, it's easy, and now I'll just go over here. <clears throat> now you may see me look through the, um, you may see me look through the houses and everything like that. <clears throat> now this has serves a purpose. There are various chests and everything that um, are scattered throughout the, the land and the towns and everything so you can get uh, items that you don't have to pay for outside of dungeons. Now <clears throat> the purpose of this is to see what we get like if uh, like for some random retarded reason if you eat your character's favorite food such as D Games' favorite food is called Fluffy Donuts. His defense raises. I don't know why. I guess he becomes fatter or something like that. But yeah, whatever. He becomes... They get His defensive powers increase exponentially. Not really exponentially, but like pretty good. Um, <clears throat> there's also gourds because you also have to watch out for your character's thirst. Um, that's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's kind of easier to manage once you get up to there. Like Once you get five drops on your thirst line that's kind of easy to watch because you know you you kind of have to glance everywhere uh, at first it seems like a lot but once you once you get farther into it you're like oh why the fuck did I worry about that before you know it just seems so so nice it seems kind of lame that I worried about that so you know no worries about it <clears throat> if you kind of start to stress out about it just don't worry just say hey you know what uh, if, if I start to feel stressed about it I'll just keep some extra water that's easy <clears throat> now Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Now, <clears throat> another little tip, but it kind of takes a while, um, is, uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, see, look, I'm looking around for those orange chests so I can show you what they actually look like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go in here. <clears throat> oh, it's a look. It's a it's a prickly. That's fishing bait. We don't need this. Fi we don't need fishing bait until later. Uh, once we get the uh, pond and uh, another character's house, I forgot. But once we get that character in the pond, then we can do it. Now, an easy way to travel from here is just again, as I stated before, um, to go over here and then here. Now, a big keyhole. You gotta press square for this shit for some reason. Alright, this is um, thirst, and then this is repair powder. Okay, everything is done with powder in this fucking game for some random retarded reason. You get revived by powder. You escape with powder, which kind of makes sense, but you also have assist powder for some reason. So I, I can't really believe they don't have food powder, powder, or thirst powder, or whatnot. But you know what, Evs? <laughs> it's all good, yeah? Um, now, in this game, they have. Uh, the way that you can you can level up your weapons and shit through what's called absorptions. Now, the fairy king explains it pretty good, but here, here's just the lowdown. All right, it's just pretty cut and dry, cut and dry and simple. Um, you defeat a monster, it gives your weapon experience points, and the more experience your car your weapon has, the better it can be, and you can level it up. Okay, so. With arms spread wide, you have entered the Divine, divine Beast Cave. Now the gate key is just a key to get to the next level. Now what you want to do, what I do, this may seem kind of tedious and hard, but it's kind of it, it comes in handy because you know, you you level up your weapons faster, and you also get a lot of cool items too from this. Is you just explore everything in the cave. Okay, all you have to do is just do it once, but make sure it's in an organized fashion. Now here's Mind Connect, okay? If you if you've defeated all of the monsters in the cave, you can go from the ground level. You can go from underground to ground level for free. Now if there's a monster, um, you'll have to either a if you don't have any escape powder, pay half your gold, or uh, use escape powder. So yeah. 
<clears throat> now you can re-enter the dungeon at any time. Um, now here's the weapons. Um, your weapons break over time, which kind of pisses me off, but here you have powder that kind of repairs it and adds a little bandage to the cracked weapon, so no worries, so it doesn't really... For some reason, it stays sharper. For some reason, like, sharper image. Cool. Uh, and then, like, you can build up your weapons is what it's called, changing its look, and sometimes they actually look really cool. Um, <clears throat> now, let's see. The Alta is kind of a pain in the ass. This is just a lot of fucking tutorials. 21 minutes of tutorials, holy shit. Um, let's see here. So, you just touch it and it opens, so yeah. Um. Alright, let's run through this fucking cave with a dull butter knife. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'll explain the menus real quick. Uh, we got items, of course, which tell you your items up here. We can add various things to the top up here, then I can access them quickly throughout the, uh, while in the, um, Uh, dungeon. Now over here we have our health, the health, the character, the health, um, the heart, the blue bar is the health, the red bar is the health for your weapon, and the little droplets are the, your thirst. Um, then we also have weapons and everything, and um, attachments for your weapons. Now here we have six profile, six character profiles. Um, for the six characters that you get throughout the game. Now, his first weapon is called the dagger. It's got a wind, uh, wind attribute. Now, now if you have a monster, if you fight a monster that's weak against wind, it'll damage it. Now, these are antis. These add in additional damage. Like the maximum is like 99. So, there's that. Um. The allies, you just switch. You can look at their stats and everything like that. Um, the diorama parts is mainly what you want to do in the town. Leave dungeon and then options is pretty self-explanatory. Um, now, this thing is kind of self-explanatory. Dasher, it's pretty easy to kill. Um, so, there's, uh, you get items. Now, this is the thing I was talking about. Like, these things are the well, I wasn't really talking about wells and everything, but they'll insta instantly refill your health and your equip, they quench your thirst. So, whenever you hear that, the sound of a waterfall, just go to it, dude. No questions asked. Now, we have various chests and everything, so these contain various items and stuff, like this one contained a bone key. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that to be in the first part of the dungeon. Um, up at the top of the screen, below the active items, you see a map. Um, ah, here we go. Here's an attachment. Now, an attachment is what you add to your weapon to make it better. So you look, endurance, the ED right there. Uh, ED. Um, that increases your endurance by one point. Endurance and also in endurance increases uh, weapon damage resistance. So it means the more your endurance is, the better your weapon's um, health will be. The more, I mean, the more it will be increased whenever it levels up, and everything like that. So there's that. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of my drink first. So I can have one bottle. Drink a little latency, huh? I'm just drinking my drink real quick. Mm. Alright, now what I'm doing is a charge attack. Obviously it's called a charge attack for a reason. Ah! There's the key. Get over here, bitch. Boom! Alright. Magic crystals allow you to see every single item, enemy, or alta in the entire map. So, give me a sec while I refill my 
first mirror and then we'll be on our way. The wrong way. Oh, that way. This way. There we go. Let's see here. Now, you see that meter at the bottom that says speed? And how it goes down every a little bit? Alright, watch. I'm going to let it fill halfway. See how I can't do that final attack? It only does two attacks. Now with this, I'll be able to do it now. Macho. Oh, no, I don't have that item. But I do have this item. Yeah, this guy's the my character is the Jeff Goldblum of the of this game. There's the gold. Okay. Now you see that meter up there uh, with the blue bar beneath it? I'm gonna show ya. Okay. The abs is the absorption. Um, I'm gonna use the repair powder to repair it. Um, so, yeah, once I only have two more experience for this weapon, and then I'll show you what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Uh. Got a freaking fence. What the hell is up with this bullshit, my friends? Mm -hmm. I am dust. Mm -hmm. Epic red bottles of history. Burn, burn, clay. Jeff Goldblum. Kangas Khan, Farshas! <sighs> the Easter Bunny. Okay, now what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna check to see if I have anything else. No, I can't. Alright. Now, what this does is it upgrades the weapon, absorbing that, that thing and making it more powerful. See? I'm gonna show you something pretty cool whenever I. Um, whenever I get to level 5 in a weapon, I'm going to create a Synthosphere. Damn it. Got bitch smacked. Get over here, bitch. Slow! Oh. Took a shower like a few minutes ago, and then... I fucking fell in the shower, dude. I feel really ashamed of about that, but my, I hit my fucking head on the back of, uh, on my fucking um on the wall in the back of the shower, dude. And I feel like a little not concussed, but my head kind of hurts a little. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, but your face is killing me. Oh, all right. All right. Lamp. So what else we can get? Okay, we got a river. Now the only point that you have the river is just to add a water source, just to make it look pretty and stuff like that. All right. Now I'm also gonna show you tips and tricks on how to arrange the town so everybody likes it. Okay. Oh, I got some bread, sweet. Okay, you got the fire. Now that is a attachment to the weapon. Um, wrong one. Okay. See, look, watch. Turn it on a little bit. All right. 
Now then, see I have the fire attribute, I can add that. And now every time I attack a, a monster, it's going to take both fire damage and knife damage. So it's going to be like 4 points or whatnot. Whatever. I don't care. What the fuck ever. Who gives a shit? Okay. First dungeon is clear. <clears throat> Let's leave the dungeon. Alright, back to No Rune Village. Um, ooh, oh, hey, hey, whoa, what's up with the dude? Yeah, that's right, we gotta see the fairy king. I forgot about that. Oh. Alright, so, he can get the ball. He can open the ball and get the house that was inside the ball. Okay, then he can rearrange everything to his um, liking. Because, you know, he's a bad that way. Um, yeah, but you kind of force the that power again, uh, uh, against his will, you know, so shut up. Now that thing is just useless, but whatever you play it, um, just read it over, it's kind of helpful. Uh, to me it's worthless because I've already read it, so I already know what's in it, so I'm not, I'm not really in the mood to explain. But, for me it's just a waste of space, you know. Actually, that's a good idea, I've never tried to throw that away. Yeah, I can't throw it away. Damn it. Okay, well, I'm fucked. Alright, let's see. This configuration of assembly. Let's assemble Macho's house. And the reason why I'm putting this here, because that's where he wants it. Let's put Macho in here. Let's go down. See, look, this is one of the orange chests I was talking about. It contains tasty water. This one contains bread. They're usually on the floor, out of sight, usually. That's why they're going, hey, look, macho. What's up, bulging bicep, dude? Hey, ah, D Games, I miss you, man. What's up, dude? Right, tell me how to rebuild your house. The barbell. Put that outside. Okay, I'll do that. So I find the barbell at least. Okay. Okay. So let's get this done. Now what you want to do is you want to ask um, the characters what they want in their house. Okay. Um, this not only allows you to get a feel for what they where they want to go, but um, let's see. Look, watch. Geoma parts. No. Geoma al analysis. Okay. Requests. Um, that's once something is once um, a piece is done, like a house or something. There'll be an event, and there'll be like a little short video and stuff like that. So um, don't worry, I won't skip any of that, so that you guys can watch it and enjoy it to its fullest extent. But whenever you get a request, that means that you want it to the 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 character in the game has a request of where you, to put their place, you know. Uh -huh. Hey, look, a very obvious hill that doesn't look natural. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I want to go to. I want to go here. I don't want to lose my shit. Okay, let's see. Go here, turn around. Get that. Get that out of here. Get that trash out of here, man. Go here. In the door. Alright, now this is a little tip. Once you get a storage space here, 
Um. Now, ah, uh, looks like no use a but put some items in so you'll be needing your bag. So what he just did right now is he just fucking put some repair powder and shit like that. But, more, like, later on, like, maybe the fourth floor, which I'm, I'm gonna stop probably at the fourth floor. But, this is where you get the gaffer. Oh, gaffer, or whatever, how the fuck you pronounce it. And, he's the shop. He's the shop in town, okay? So, there's many different items you can buy in the shop. You can buy the various attribute items and shit. So, yeah, there's those. Um... I still have all this shit to do. This is gonna be a pain. Oh, gotta talk to this motherfucker again. Oh wait, no, it's a cat. Miko! Kitty kitty! Come here, puss, 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 puss. a cake bet. No, for some reason I'm poisoned. Chop you in half. So cut you down a notch. Okay, let's see. Let's go here. Get this alpha. Yeah, oh, there we go. Old gaffer. Gaffer, gaffer, whatever the hell the fuck you want. There's the door. Oh, shit, well, there we go, my first death. <laughs> this is nearly destroyed, so I lost half my fucking gold. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, well, here we go. Let's go back inside and restart. Okay, well I got one. Uh, the ulta done. So I'll get all of them before anything. Now if you're wondering, yes, the the um things change every time you go in. Um so no worries, you're not just tripping balls. Um okay, well my health is beginning to deteriorate, so let's let's take care of that. My weapon, I don't need to repair my weapon just yet. It would be good to repair in a sec, but let's uh, quench his thirst. Uh, I got bread. Awesome sauce. Uh -huh. So, tomorrow I'm going to make it a couple more videos. Um, I'll be uploading them. I'm gonna be making some more of these videos, so no worries. We'll get through this. Um, let's see what kind of good shit we can get. Ooh, bone key. Uh, meh. Uh, it's something okay, but it's not really what I wanted. Get some good items here, buddy. Oh, there's these things called duels, but they're later on, so they'll probably be in the next video. I think, yeah, I think in the next video. Um, so yeah. Alright, well that beeping means I should repair my fucking item. I don't want to repair it. I don't want to repair it. Jeff Goldblum wants to repair it, so yeah, I think I'll name one of the characters Jeff Goldblum. Because I like Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum's cool. I want to meet him. Seems like a pretty good guy, you can trust him now. He saved the earth, he's uh, prevented dinosaurs from taking over cities. Stuff like that, you know? Good stuff. Cool stuff, you know? Just some cool stuff. And because Jeff Goldblum is next to God. Well, Jeff Goldblum is God's right hand man. You know? When God needs someone dead. He goes to Jeff Goldblum. 
see if we can't get a big chest in this one. Oh. Bring it. Alright. <sighs> but I'm really determined to make this video. So no worries. The video is going to get made. No worries. Hey, I got two more days. Alright. Let's see, okay, let's see this bling. That's there with the blades. Pretty useless. <laughs> Alright, well, let's upgrade that bitch. Okay. Good job. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna just play until the end of this dungeon, do a little bit of stuff, and then save. Um, yeah, I'm getting pretty fucking tired right now. Because I got a lot of editing to do with this video. Gotta omit a few parts and stuff like that, so you know, I gotta split. Do all that shit. Ooh, premium water, that's rare. Nice, that's a pretty good one. That fully quenched thirst. That's good to know. Out of my house if you don't cut that hair. Also, Animus. Um, you don't really need to expand your content, just, you know, get some more subscribers, dude. I'm not perfect, okay? I mean, I've got my own subscribers, I've got like 11. That's uh, not that much, but that's on my Dark Link on 3245 channel. But, um, yeah, I'm excited about this new channel that I made, so hopefully, hopefully you guys like it. Um, I seem to be getting a lot of positive feedback for these videos if a couple of friends saw them. Um, so yeah. Oh, uh, damn it. I don't want to go down there again. Right, let's see if we can't get the buggy. Oh, so macho. Eh, whatever. Oh, fuck you. I'll drink water. I'll drink to that. Get it? Why did I auto target to him? And I'm not going to poison because chug. Galoog and Gashluk. Okay. A sign. It's a sign for something. Oh, we got an annex from. See this. Okay. I'm just gonna go run over here to the um uh door just so I don't have to worry about anything like any uh bullshit that comes from having to leave the dungeon because tomorrow whenever I do some more videos I'm gonna do them pretty late too so I can get them up in the morning and everything. Um uh, Good Lord <sighs> but Yeah no I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of editing in the town, and I'm gonna save and quit, and then I'm gonna end the video, so we can get that up and running. Alright, uh, people's I'm actually playing this one right now one-handed, so yeah, pretty pretty smart with this game. Let's see. Let's use that. Let's go down here, but let's leave the dungeon temporary. If you leave the dungeon now, you can still re-enter it at, at the next level. I'll leave. 
Oh, God, my fucking head is killing me. Okay. Uh, so, let's do this. Configuration is somebody. The annex room. And the bar bell. Macho, there's the little runt. Oh, the clothes are going away. Alright, there's a little bit of it. Alright, now let's see. How should I build your house? Defense, by the way. Alright, let's go outside. Yes. means that there is an event that's happening at the house. Now, what you gotta do to activate the event, since I'm checking around here just to see if there's any chests or anything like that, what you need is just enter the house and move planes. Short little thing. I know, I've done it, buddy. You're very welcome, but I'm glad to help. Thanks for that. But I don't think it's yours, dude. Yeah, I thought so. That's his game, bro. scratching his head. Now, um, let's see, I'm going to save it real quick, and then we're going to end this video. So I really do appreciate you guys watching my videos and everything, it really does mean a lot. Um, so, tune in next time, um, we'll be playing uh, Dark Cloud or Legend of Zelda Mario Bros. Max, which I don't know what I'm fucking doing for. So, uh, yeah, until then, just peace out, guys. I'm like, really freaking tired right now, so I'm just trying to end this, this uh, video. Here. So, I gotta get some sleep for work tomorrow. It's almost like, it's like 11.25 right now, so I've got some editing to do and shit like that. So, the video will be up tomorrow, maybe in the afternoon. Um, because I'm just probably just gonna get to sleep right now. Um, so, yeah. Alright, people. Later. Let's see.